Hi, happy morning, everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel of Meteor International Academy. To a daily, we are seeing five important MCQ for the exam of Ames and Jipmer. Okay, we'll start today's session. We'll start with a small quote: "Nothing will work unless you do." Ninge nene kama yade me saadi kam dia. Unless you do, okay? Nothing will work. We'll start today's session. First question: A female client is taking Cascara Sagrada. The nurse Betty informs the client that the following may be experienced as side effect of this medication. So, to answer this question, you should know what is Cascara Sagrada. It's nothing but it is a laxative. So, when the patient is taking a laxative, what is the experience side effects is expected? That has to be informed to the patient. Options they have given: GI bleeding, peptic ulcer disease, up to abdominal cramps. Partial bowel obstructions. So, what is the right answer when there is an? If you are providing a laxative to the any patient, what the symptoms the patient will have the abdominal cramps. So the option C is the right answer. The most frequent side effect of the laxative is an abdominal cramps and nausea. Clear? Yes. Next question. Doctor Morgus ordered a continuous intravenous in nitroglycerin infusion for the. Client suffering from MI, myocardial infarction. Which of the following is the most essential nursing action? So the, the scenario is telling that the doctor ordered the intravenous nitroglycerin, okay, for MI patient. So what is the nurse essential nursing action? Options: monitoring a urine output frequently, monitoring the blood pressure every fourth hourly, obtaining a serum potassium level daily, obtaining infusion pump for the medication. So, what is the right answer? The answer is obtaining an infusion pump for the medication because nitroglycerin has to be given correct rate, okay, so that uh, we can pro prevent the side effects. You know, there is their mentioned option is monitoring the urine output frequently. It there is they didn't mention the accurate time hourly or every shift. Frequently doesn't uh, correlate with the, any answer, okay. So that is option A is not correct. Monitor the blood pressure every fourth hour. Not wrong. We have to monitor at least thirty to thirty minutes to sixty minutes. That means hourly. At least hourly, we have to check when the patient is on MI or in the infusion of nitroglycerin. Okay. Then obtaining a serum potassium level, it is not related to the nitroglycerin. Okay. It may be related to the myocardial infarction, but it is not related to the nitroglycerin. So the right option is option D. Obtaining a infusion pump or the medication. Clear. Next question. Among the following signs and symptoms, which would most likely be the patient in the client with mitral regurgitation? What is that? Is regurgitation okay? What is mitral regurgitation? Backflow of the blood. Okay, backflow. Usually, what will happen in last classes? I I explained regarding the mitral stenosis. The blood has to pass from the left atrium to the left ventricle. I show the picture. Okay. So this is normal, typical art. The left atrium to the left ventricle, the blood flow will be there. When there is a prolapse in the mitral wall, any abnormality in the mitral wall, what will happen? The blood will not go to the left ventricle. So what will happen? Back flow will be there. The back flow is otherwise called a regurgitation. Clear? So when there is a patient with mitral regurgitation, what will happen? The patient will have the Pulmonary edema. So, what will happen? Exception, exceptional dyspnea will be there because of two things. The patient will have the dyspnea because of the poor output. Okay, will have the patient have the dyspnea as well as because of the lung congestion. Also, the patient will have the exceptional dyspnea. Clear? Yes. Next question. Question number four. John suddenly experiences seizure. A nurse, Jaina. Notice that John exhibits un. So the nurse is documents that John experienced which type of seizure. Options they have given: tonic seizure, absent seizure, myoclonic seizure, clonic seizure. So the option I have given already. The correct answer is myoclonic seizure. We have various ty various type of seizures. You all know. So we have stages of seizure. First one is R stage. Before occurring of any seizure. Not any seizure, particular type of seizure. The patient may get an 
uh, warning signs that is called the aura stage it may be dizziness numbness confusion hallucination patient ku munnadi therinjiru something going to happen to me that is called the aura stage second stage is called the tonic stage what will happen loss of muscle tone stiffness of the body incontinence of urine will be there back become arch will mari aayirum okayla okay amb sorry amb will edha mari valanje aayirum okay it become arched then epileptic cry so these are the called the tonic stage if the patient will have the only the tonic type of symptom that is called a tonic seizure okay what is clonic stage there will be a continuous jerking movement will be there fourth is saliva will come and blinking eyes will be there so that is called the clonic seizure okay next is called the post ictal stage so after completing of all these stages the patient will become exhausted sleepy weakness will be there so that is called the post ictal stage if it is only tonic symptoms is happening it is tonic seizure only clonic is happening that is clonic seizure or myoclonic seizure if all the four symptoms are happening in the correct manner correct order or a tonic clonic post ictal this is called generalized tonic clonic seizure this is a major and the most common type of seizure in the adult okay clear ore one matta achana adu vande இந்த டோனிக் சிம்டம்ஸ் மட்டும் வந்துச்சுன்னா டோனிக் சீஷர் கிளோனிக் மட்டும் வந்துச்சுன்னா கிளோனிக் சீஷர் இல்லைனா மயோக்ளோனிக் சீஷர் எல்லாமே கரெக்டா ஆர்டர் இந்த ஆர்டர்ல வருது அப்படின்னா மோஸ்ட் காமன் இன் அடல்ட் சோ இயர் த பேஷன் இஸ் ஓன்லி ஹேவிங் த அன்கண்ட்ரோலபிள் ஜர்க்கிங் மூமெண்ட் தட் இஸ் ஒய் தன்சர் இஸ் மயோக்ளோனிக் சீஷர் வாட் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சீஷர் த சைல்ட் ஆர் அடல்ட் வி மே சீன் They are simply staring at in one place. Okay? Okay, that is called absence. Is seeing something. Okay? It is for a particular amount of time. Particular period of time, the patient will have the absence of activity. That is called absence. Is it is more common in children rather than adults. Next question. The nurse Lily has been assigned to a client with Reynolds disease. Nurse Lily realized that the etiology of the disease is unknown. but it it is characterized by so what is they are saying renard disease don't confuse with renard disease with renard phenomena clear renard disease is unknown origin renard phenomena is due to some particular disease condition but the symptoms will be same only but something is different renard disease is unknown etiology of the disease okay clear yes so what is the uh, options they have given episodic vasopastic disorder of capillaries episodic vasopastic disorder of small veins episodic vasopastic disorder of the aorta episodic vasopastic disorder of the small arteries so correct answer is it is a episodic vasopastic disorder of the small arteries clear so there is what is happening in the renard disease there will be vasospasm of small cutaneous arteries that involves in the fingers in the leg toes also so you can see it here initially what color will be there there will be a white in color because of vasospasm or vasoconstriction so when whenever there is a vasoconstriction lack of blood flow what will happen the color become pale that is why it is white color blood circulation pogalina and edha eppadi irukum velupa theriyum illaya vellaya theriyum adha vand vasospasm adha white color la irukku so that is why there is an pale color that is the first step second what is happening deoxygenation that is cyanosis complete cut off of circulation okay because of the small artery vandu rom nalla constrict a irudhu so what is happening there so there will be cyanosis that leads to the blue in color we all know cyanosis irundhuchuna and edathula vandu blue is color varum okay va that is why it is blue in color why there is a red color again the artery will get perfused reperfuse rapidly so that is why it is become red in color first there is a vasospasm the second there is a cyanosis finally reperfusion so that is why red color okay what is the main cause of renard phenomena so small artery the peripheral artery diseases or stroke not stroke stress okay not stroke it is stress due to exposure to the cold or a stress or peripheral artery disease all leads to the renard's phenomena clear yes So thank you all so much
i hope today's class was helpful meet you in next class thank you so much all the best for your exams